Hey everybody, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my aquaponic system and what its true capabilities are when it comes to a small fish aquaponic system. Now, this system has been running for several years now and that makes it a little bit more capable than most of your small fish aquaponic systems that you're going to see out there because the problem is, is people expect too much out of these systems too soon. This system is, a, is, is very well established and it, so therefore it, it can do a little bit more than your typical small fish aquaponic system is going to be capable of doing. Now that being said, it doesn't have what it's going to take in order to bring adult tomato plant into a very, very productive plant. Now what it does do very well is it it is it, it, a fantastic system for bringing these tomato plants into a plantable um, like like you bought it type tomato plant. In other words, although it can it doesn't necessarily have the capabilities of bringing especially this many tomato plants into a full-blown adult tomato it does have the capability of bringing it into a plantable size into an outdoor system now do I recommend you buying or you doing tomato plants in your small aquaponic system and to be truthful with you the answer is no really unless you're gonna do unless you're gonna do something like what I'm doing where you have larger systems that you can put it in. I've got lots of soil systems. I've got an outdoor aquaponic system that's more than capable of bringing tomato plants into a full-size adult plant. What, what, the, what the system isn't capable of, of doing is bringing these plants to a full adult. At least, yes, you can, you can raise an adult tomato plant in a system like this. I've done it. Um, last year around this time I had a tomato plant that had three different types of tomatoes on it and it was in this system and I got a few tomatoes and I got lots of growth but it really wasn't worth growing an adult tomato plant in such a small system where if I if I had stuck with plants that it's that it is able to bring into adulthood lettuce, basils, uh, I've done beans, um, some smaller kales, um, you know, I've done a lot of these, a lot of these plants and, you know, parsley and things like that. And I brought them into a, into an adult size where they're, they're harvestable, harvestable plants. But to me, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to it didn't make a lot of sense to try to grow tomatoes in something so limiting where I could put something in there that will actually give me a lot of food. Now, the, the way I'm doing this currently where I've got my dual root zone pots and a lot of types, of, everything that's in this system currently is intended to go outside and go away out of this system. Uh, so, so, so it, it work, it's really worked quite, <laughs> it, it works really well for that. Um, getting beautiful tomato starts, getting some beautiful peppers going. The peppers are starting to look like they're really going, coming on. Um, the eggplants are looking great. The tomato plants are just unbelievable. But the system isn't capable of doing any of those to adulthood. It just, and especially like this many, it just isn't. And, that, and that's fine. Now, I believe actually that in a lot of ways, I believe aquaponics is actually sort of heading in the wrong direction. All this, I mean, you're not going to feed the world with lettuce. It just isn't going to happen. Um, I, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like aquaponics really needs to be more of a tool in order to bring um, healthier plants to different grow systems 
kind of feel like that's the real direction that aquaponics is, should be heading. Um, I would be interested to see if if you could do, and I, and I might even try to do this, like um, field field crops, corn, and stuff like that. Now. Can you make an aquaponic system big enough to actually make a dent in field production? The answer is no. Absolutely not. Aquaponics will never, ever replace a field of corn. Ever. Never. It will never replace a field of wheat. Ever. It will never, ever, ever do that. But maybe it can provide those plants in a larger, um, less water demanding um, starter plant where you could actually start a whole field of corn in an indoor aquaponic system and then somehow bring it outdoors and then plant it into those fields as larger, less water demanding plants, bam, maybe that's the, that's the real direction that aquaponics should be heading. I don't know, these are experiments that I'm working with. I know that with things like tomato plants and things like that, I this little aquaponic system I've raised, I, there's probably 50 tomato plants in a 45 gallon aquaponic system. that are all going to head outdoors. Not all of them because I don't have room for 45 even out, even outdoors. But some of you do. Some of you guys might have that much room in order to grow that many tomatoes. And you could have a small aquaponic system and get all your tomato starts going for the season. And then when it's time for it to kind of, you know, you've got all your starts and you got everything going for the season, guess what you can do? At that point, you can kind of retire the system a little bit, maybe plant some, some, um, some lettuce in there, or maybe what you do, and this is prop this is really what I'm gonna be doing after the tomatoes come out. I'll probably put a, a little bit of lettuce in there for maybe an eight week cycle or, or something along those lines. But after that, it's gonna be fall crops. And I'm gonna be getting my fall crops ready for, the, for, for outdoors using my indoor aquaponic system. That's right. I've saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars by providing my own starts in my own aquaponic system for my gardens outdoors. I think that's the real direction that aquaponics should be heading. I could be wrong. It's not wrong for me. It's working for me. And it's the direction that my aquaponics is heading in for my use. I kind of think some of you guys out there with your big commercial systems are actually kind of missing the boat. Really, especially this time of year. Why you're growing lettuce in your low value lettuce and your aquaponic system when you could be marketing uh, tomatoes, you know, tomato plants that are, you know, in, on a four week turnover and, and all of a sudden, you know, at least this time of year, and you, that system should be full of tomato plants, absolutely full of, of peppers or full of eggplants or all the above. And, and that, that's where the market really is. Um, anyway, I've rambled on enough. I don't even know how much of this is going to go in the actual video. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.